me. We in the city. We going down, we going cut, we going slay. Get with me. We in the city. Hey, what up, what up, what up, Wolf Pack? What's good, man? Oh, man, you see how the sun is shining out here? This is crazy. Crazy. Yo, we literally just went from like, what, like 13 degrees yesterday? And now it's almost 50. It's like 46 degrees, man. So that's what's up. I got some running around to do, but I also got time over at the um over at the spot to go shoot a show, man. So I don't know which one I'm gonna do. I don't know which one I'm gonna do, honestly. Um I'm picking up my daughter now, take her to get her car. She got some things to do. But I don't know what I should do, man. I don't know if I should jump um drop a show or hit another hit another vlog for y'all because i think that valid tv um fashion show that's probably too much for y'all shit got crazy over there but i'll let y'all know in a minute hey what up wolf pack so yeah man i um i'm leaving the spot right now i didn't i didn't record a podcast because i got um I got a little bit more pressing business to take care of. So, um, I got to run out by my my uh, my truck driving school. I got a little bit of, um, you know, CDL business to take care of. So, I got to get that done. And I, I kind of don't want to wait on it because with everything with the co with, uh, with COVID and the registry and all that, everything is, is kind of like pushed back. Um, like weeks weeks and weeks so I feel like the sooner I get in there into the the sooner that I can get to the registry and take care of this uh this 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 uh paperwork and stuff that I need to get taken care of I can get that you know I can do a show anytime I can do a podcast anytime I can do that from the house like I used to do but I gotta get out here and get this stuff done. I had to get because I got all my stuff signed from my from all of my um instructors and everything. I just gotta go and get to the registry now. So that's my main thing. So I'm gonna get that done. And then we'll shoot a podcast later. Or tomorrow. You know? We'll get that done um later or till or tomorrow because you know it's a bunch of stuff going on that i want to talk about on the podcast anyway sports wise and all that um but yeah man i hope y'all check out the um hope y'all go check out the photo shoot vlog man we we had we had crazy fun you know unfortunately i got the copyright strike so they they hit they hit me like um like five minutes of it and I knew that was gonna happen because the studio that we was in, Exposed TV Studio, it was um, it was the environment was lit, so you know it, it was crazy in there. So that was that was um, which was fine. I was like, yo, I'm gonna get this footage anyway, you know. So everything turned out dope. Um, so shout out to Exposed TV for hosting that, and when it's time for my photo shoot to come up for the merch. Um, 10 times out of 10 gonna have it there because you know the service was crazy the uh the spot was dope the set was real dope and um it was just cool man they 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 um you know they set you up and then they get out your way and let you do your thing you know they tell you whatever they got to tell you you know what can be done what can't be done and then that's that they don't they don't be like all over your back man and and stuff like that so that was cool so shout out to them and i will be um doing business with them if anything like a like like for a photo shoot or whatever you know whatever because they do more than just photo shoots too they got like um they actually 
the owner she actually does a lot of um dope work in the in the in, in the entertainment industry i can't get my words out right now but yeah man y'all know i don't usually eat mcdonald's but i'm gonna grab a fish sandwich and um i'm gonna hit the highway i might i might get back on here before i hit the highway or not i don't know but yeah man so we got some dope stuff coming up um obviously more stuff with valid tv um more stuff for Get Fly Entertainment. Well, Get Fly Media. And um, yeah, that's how we're going to do it, man. 2021, we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen, 2021. But yo, make sure y'all get over there and check that vlog out. And then, because she got a pop-up shop coming up. That's another thing we're doing. We're doing a pop-up shop, too. And I think I got, like, I talked to, like, uh what two other designers for the pop-up shop so you know it's gonna be it's gonna be business man it's gonna be business moves being made in 2021 collabs um trucking company yo i got like three or four things that's that's coming in the works what's well, in the works now and they, they're coming like two or three is coming and then two more is coming yo this is gonna be a big year man 2021 is gonna be a big year so y'all stay tuned stay put enjoy the ride hit that comment below man drop drop hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already if this video just flashed across your face but down in the comment section give me the thumbs up emoji give me the thumbs up emoji never mind the like button Give me the thumbs up emoji. I'm a holler. Yeah, man. Look at this day, man. I just wanted to show y'all how crazy it is. Got the paintball joint. We over here by paintball. Austin paintball in the building. You feel me? So that's what we doing, man. We out and about. Move out the way so so the um the groundsmen can can do the grounds. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, we out here. <clears throat> oh, this is what I was telling y'all. The um the paintball spot right there. Yo, I can't get away from the sun. I mean, from the tree. Yeah, man, the paintball shit. Yeah, man, but it's crazy. The weather's dope out here, man. This weather's fire. So, <clears throat> I'm about to go hit the highway, though. See that? All that snow is melt melted. These piles used to look like that one over there they put that shit they fenced it in you know what i'm saying it's a big pile of snow but um it's all melting days like this it all melts you know so that's pretty dope but yeah man i'm about to get out here and take care of this um CDL business real quick. I knocked off that McDonald's. I needed that shit because it's already like 1.30 and I ain't eat nothing all day. And y'all know I'm desperate if I'm eating McDonald's, Wolfpack, because y'all know your boy do not F with the McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? Now, hold on. Let me see if I can get that big ass snow pile right there. Yeah. yeah, we had crazy snow, man. We had crazy snow. And, um, like, this winter been dope. It probably snowed, like, three times. This dude, what he doing? They got us crane and shit. Yeah, it probably only snowed, like, maybe four times. And two of them was like huge snowstorms. You know, three of them, sorry, three of them was like huge snowstorms. And I'm talking about 
17, 18, 19 inches a pop in, in like 10 hours. You know what I'm saying? So you get in some, or well, you know, and, and some was shorter than that. Some of them you get in like three inches of snow an hour. You know what I'm saying? Some of them you get in like three inches of snow an hour, which is crazy. But, but that's New England though. You know, that's New England. That's Mass, uh, Rhode Island and all that. New Hampshire, New York, New York, get it like that. Philly, get it like that. Pennsylvania, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. Look at this, they doing like the little cleanup. They doing like a little cleanup in the neighborhood out here. This is like the, um, this is the hood out by where I live. One of the hood areas, you know what I'm saying? It's funny. <clears throat> It's funny how, like, out in the suburbs and shit, they call, they call it like, um, whenever there's black and, and, and Hispanic people living there, the people, the people label it the hood or fucking, uh, or they'll be like, um, you know, or they'll be like, it's an urban, a urban area. Like, what the fuck is that? I don't get it, but whatever. This was one of the. This was one of the um the hardest hit communities in the country for COVID for like a whole year. This um city called Chelsea, Chelsea, Mass. You know, it's just right outside of Boston. Um, <clears throat> they was they was on the red. They was this city was on the red the whole freaking the whole year since since we had COVID. And this is one of the places where um, like eighty five percent of the people are. 85% of the people are essential workers. You know, a lot of Hispanic and black people out here, they work in the hotel, the labor industry, you know what I'm saying? And um, they stayed in the red for a year. That don't make no sense. And they just now, I think they hit this city off with a, with a specialized vaccination location because a lot of the people, um, is you know um they not getting it money wise so they put the they put the vaccination locations like in these far out ass towns that a lot of these people can't get to you know what i'm saying so they actually have a have a spot over here and they uh they they you know they push for them to put put uh put a location right around here so these people can get vaccinated man and you know they, they was happy to get vaccinated. It was on the news. You know, they was uh they was they was you know they was grateful to, to have a spot where you know it's a it's a, a location that they can all get to without having to go like without having to try to get like fifty thousand miles away, you know. To some to some neighborhood where you probably gonna get harassed by the police anyway when you pull up in there. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just the way this it's just the way we construct it over here in America, you know? It's just the way we construct it. Cause I was looking on the uh on the news the out of the out of the the per the so the hundred percent of the people that took the um vaccine, right? I believe like 64% was white people. Um, 30% was was black, and then like they they had it like on the news that it was like 14% uh, Hispanic and other. So you know what I'm saying, like, which is crazy, like. First of all, what it should be is 
it should just be one big ass number. 15 million people took the vaccine. Never mind um, white, black, Hispanic, and all that shit. But that's where we at, though. You gotta understand, that's where we at, and that's how it gets um, it gets divvied up around here. And we in Boston at that, so. Mm-hmm. Start that day, man. Listen, I don't care if I start my day at four o'clock p.m. You is definitely gonna see a Dunkin' Donuts cup. And that's just, that's just it. You know, that's just it. But um, yeah, it's crazy how they how we get in, how we get broke up. You know, everything's a everything's a friggin' racial statistic. You know, <clears throat> and it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. But but that's that's how they do it. You know what I'm saying? That's how they do it. To to that's how they do it to keep. Like they do that to to keep you in that same way of mind, uh, same way of thinking. You know what I'm saying? It's like, well, they got us like that anyway. Damn, even the motorcycle shop ain't open. Wow, the motorcycle shop they they got snow blowers out there. They got some bikes out. They got a few bikes out. That spot right there, though. That spot usually be had a whole um whole block flooded with bikes. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's if we expected some weather or what. I don't think so, but it's probably just. A, but yeah, they separate you. They separate us like that because they want us to stay like that. You know. Man, but we'll fall for it though We'll fall for it though You know We'll fall for it You see on the news Oh 50% white people 30% black people And 20% So They divvy everything up You know In your um In your Yeah yeah Your background wise like, like your ethnic background wise Your racial background so that's how that's how we end up living because we don't see that we don't see what they doing even though it's real simple we don't see it so they can say at any point in time you know oh they don't they don't want to be around each other they don't want to be around us but you putting it like that on tv in our minds since we was kids some of us just ain't falling for it but the majority of us are so we gonna stay divided like that because you know we don't know no better and, and we don't know how to we don't know how to break the we don't know how to break the um we don't know how to break out of it you know we don't know how to we don't know how to rise above it and come together and and take it over like we should you know but e even though even though again it's not about like taking over and one group of people controlling nothing but that's just that's just like a form of figure of speech that's just like a figure of speech so even though that's not that's not like what it is but yeah man i'm just i'm just rambling a little bit on some on some stuff that aggravates me with us with them all that shit but you know i'm moving and shaking i'm on the highway well i'm not even on the highway yet but i'm headed to the highway so in a device free hands free state so i'm gonna put this down and um and get out here real quick and, and and do this what i gotta do and then i'll probably hit y'all on the way back all right 
Hey, what up, y'all? Yeah, man, so I just got everything done, all my paperwork, my receipts. So now, I'm just waiting on the state to give me a, a road test, and then I'm good. Then I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be right there. Feel me? Yeah, somebody that knocked one of the porta potties down. Probably was the wind though, cause the wind been blowing crazy. Yeah, the wind been blowing crazy. I don't know what happened there. I think somebody wanted some. The dude broke down, but yeah, man. So that's that, man. Your boy got everything done. Everything's cool. I'm about to um head back now. Pick the wife up. <clears throat> I got stuck picking her up from work today. Yo, they doing shit everywhere, you feel me? This is out here by the, by the truck driving school and shit. They stored a lot of snow out here too. See that big pile, they got them piles everywhere. Even behind that, um, those porta potties, a bunch of, bunch of snow, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, so that's about it. This was, um, A pretty pretty quick day. I got everything done though that I needed to get done. So it was uh it was beneficial and successful, you know what I'm saying? But now I'm about to hit the road. I think I'm gonna um I gotta pull over and throw some shit out, man. I got a lot of shit in my car. Like through the week I just let everything pile up. And then I throw it out at the end of the week. I fix my joints. Got my joints fixed. Damn. Can I get that focus on it? Oh, hold up, hold up. Damn. Let me get that focus. Oh. I might have to put it up here. The Maui gems. Yeah, man, I had to get um. I had broke the arm. I had broke one of the arms on him, so I had to get all that fixed. But yeah, there ain't really much going on today, man. Like I said, I didn't did everything I had to do. Didn't do the show because I wanted to vlog with y'all. So I guess I'm gonna um, take y'all down to. I guess there's a, I think it's a car wash down here. I just want to throw away some shit in the car. I got to go get my joint detailed. I ain't had it detailed in a long time, too. Yeah, look at that, man. We used to have nothing but trucks out here. Now they put in a uh, Amazon warehouse. But it's good, though, because it's a lot of space. You know, and you usually see, like, the little small planes flying around out here. You know, we ain't seen none of that. Cause I ain't, I haven't been over here in a while, but I know um, there's like a little little airport over here, and uh, the small planes be flying through. I think it might be like a um, it might be like a, even like an aviation school or something. But they can do a lot out here, cause this this is what it mainly is. You know, it's like a lot of flat land out here, and um. You know what I'm saying? This is where I'll be going to get all my, my paperwork and shit done for the trucks and everything. That's where I go to do everything. But yeah, man, I'm on the road now. So y'all can see, but you see how much like flat land it is over there? They, they like, they picked a good ass spot for that. They picked a good ass spot for that. Cause there's nothing but land over here. And it's still more land that they didn't even use. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, it's a lot of acreage over here, man. I don't know how much, but it's a lot. I think there's a car wash up this way. Like I said, I don't even, I ain't been there over here. 
been this way in like, shit, like three or four months. Yep, there it is. Let the car wash. Man, I'm gonna go throw some of this shit away, man. Throw some of my, my weekly mess away. Before I hit the road, I ain't even got time to wash my joint. Clean machine. <laughs> yeah, I ain't even got time to wash my joint, man. Or even vacuum. I just gotta throw this shit away and take off, man. Go grab the wife. Yeah, it's straight though, man. I'll be out here, man, just just moving and shaking, man, getting stuff done. Yeah, that's all. I don't really be doing nothing. I don't really be doing nothing major. Just a bunch of trash and shit from when I be eating lunch. That's where I'm going, man. About to hit the road. Oh. Yeah, it don't be, it don't be nothing, nothing heavy. Just like my, my lunch from the week or when I gotta grab certain, certain shit. I just let it all rock out in the car until I get ready to, to um, till I get till the week's over. Then when the week's over, you know what I'm saying? I come and usually clean my car every Friday. Fill up and clean up every Friday. But yeah, man, I'm about to get out of here. I'll holla at y'all. About to hit this highway, man, and go crazy. You know? See y'all when I reach the destination.